Have you ever been afraid or scared? What would make you afraid? Are you afraid of the dark? Impossible to see anything. High places? Don't look down. Being lost? Both kids and adults can get lost and they need people to find them. Mice or other animals? Maybe the opposite. Maybe you quite like them. Though some people are scared of particular animals, even though some of the animals are really afraid of us. Lightning and thunderstorms? There have been plenty of those this week. Have you heard the thunder or seen the lightning? They are very relevant to the Bible story we're talking about today. A time when Jesus' disciples were so afraid, they were really frightened because of a storm. The disciples got into a boat with Jesus and were going across the Sea of Galilee, which is about seven miles at its widest. Everything was calm. Then a storm began to rage and the disciples became more and more afraid. The water was coming up over the side of the boat. They were bailing out the boat. The winds were blowing. Maybe there was thunder and lightning too. And these were experienced sailors. Some were fishermen who spent their lives working in boats. It could have even been their own boat. But they feared that they would drown. They were scared. That tells you how bad the storm was. What was Jesus doing all this time? He was at the back of the boat, sleeping. As it says in verse 38, the disciples woke him, that is, they woke Jesus and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? And what did Jesus do? As it says in verse 39, he got up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. Jesus calmed the storm. Do you know the problem for the disciples is a problem we also have? They didn't realize whom they had with them in the boat. It was Jesus. And sometimes when we can be afraid, we forget that we've got Jesus with us. Not necessarily in a boat, but with us all the time. Jesus said to the disciples in verse 40, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? I think he says that to us as well. Because he's with us. He has the power to help us. He can calm the storm. Now that doesn't mean we won't go through storms in life. That doesn't mean we won't be scared. The disciples had to go through the storm, just as you, whatever age, if you have difficulties or challenges, we sometimes have to face them. And it's not that we rush into storms or put ourselves in danger unnecessarily. The sea was calm when the disciples went into the boat. But we know that the traveling companion the disciples had with them is the same traveling companion we have. Not just on Sunday, but every day of the week, in whatever storms that we may have to face. The Jesus who can control the wind and the waves can help us deal with the problems that we may face. He invites us again to put our trust in him in the days to come. And now we're going to sing about that.